And last one. This has been so yeah. much fun. So thank you. Oh, uh, nice. What is your final piece of advice for anyone who wants to do what you're doing? Ooh, I love this question. Um, <laughs> I, think, I, I think that my final piece of advice would be get in a community of like-minded musicians and creatives that are going to help inspire you and who are going to believe in you and you're going to play together and help lift each other up musically to become what you're meant to be. I think that's super powerful. And I think I learned that going to college for music because it was like you were forced into this community of musicians, all different kinds. You got writers, you know, drummers, all these different, all these different people. And the, what was so beautiful about that community was just everyone was so welcoming, so supportive. And we all just like offered up complete love towards each other. And, and, and it was always trying to look at the best in each other and, and try to help those, those parts grow, right? And I think if you're in that, that kind of community, it's so much easier to continue believing in yourself and continue on the path um, of, of becoming a musician, which can be, you know, a wild road. It's like, you don't have a, a specific path to follow. It's, it's super random. So I think when you're in that community, it's like you have these people to lean on and you have these people that believe in you continue to see you, then you continue to see yourself. And, and I just think that's so powerful. I absolutely love that. Plus also by you inadvertently being a really great person and really nice to be around, even in your college days, like you yeah. got the gig, you got the audition, like shout out or heads up for the Katy Perry gig from someone you knew in college. I know, wild, right? <laughs> you no, know? but yeah, which is a testament to you that someone remembered you and, and kind of followed your journey. And so, you know, it's, it's almost like being, being just like nice to be around and being nice to people. Yeah. Like inadvertently got you that job, right? That's so true. Oh my gosh. And, and, it, and, it was, and it was because he had seen me play with a friend of mine who I had played with in college. And like, that goes back to the community. It was like, okay, I found this awesome friend who I loved her songwriting and I joined her band and I got to be myself as a guitar player by playing her music. You know, I felt authentically in my being and, and I got to help her out while she helped me out because I was realizing who I was as a guitar player. And she was realizing herself as a songwriter and he saw me play for her. So it was like, that goes back to that community. You know, I was integrated into this community and I was out there doing things because I was in this community. And, and then that's how I got the gig, I guess. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know? exactly. Well, yeah. also being a killer player, <laughs> obviously <Yeah>. helps. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like obviously don't, everything we've just said, don't neglect the playing side either. No, you know? of course. Of course. Like you, but then again, when you're, when you're being asked to go into those auditions, you're there because you can play. So a lot of yeah. it is probably just trying to suss you out as a person and, Totally. You know? Uh, yes, exactly. But yeah, <laughs> that, that, thank you so much. It's been, it's been you, so man. great. I've absolutely so loved it. 